Hello my dear student friends welcome to engineering graphics through cad laboratory i am rakesh valasa in this video lecture i am going to explain how to draw the sections of solids in autocad software let us see the given problem a square pyramid base 50 mm side and axis 75 mm long is resting on the hp on one of its triangular faces the top view of the axis making an angle of 30 degrees with the vp it is cut by a horizontal section plane the vertical trace of which intersects the axis at a point 6 mm from the base draw the front view sectional top view I have taken this problem from engineering drawing by ND but test book. Before watching this solution dear students please do like and subscribe my channel and also share to your near and dear friends. This topic is extension of projections of solids. We know that in the previous class we discussed about how to how to draw the projection of solids. solutions in autocad software this is the somewhat extension of the previous topic first we need to identify the given solid here the given solid name is square pyramid its base side length is 50 mm and axis 75 mm long is resting on the hp on one of its triangular faces so in the initial stage let us assume its axis perpendicular to hp for this condition we need to draw the initial top view and initial front view you can see already i have drawn the solution first draw the xy line then draw the initial top view that means here the axis is perpendicular to hp that means we can see the true shape in the top view draw one square and give the notation a b c d in the counter clockwise direction and also join each and every corner to apex point that is o point a o o b o c o d are the slant edges now give the notation 50 mm after this draw the vertical projectors up to x y line <coughs> and give the notations uh, this is the a dash of d dash and this is a p dash this is the b dash of c dash because the observer seeing from this side a corner visible d corner invisible so that's why you can represent it a dash of d dash second uh, other side is b dash of c dash that means b corner visible c corner invisible so you can represent it as b dash of c dash and uh, and also draw the axis line that length is 75 mm long from p dash point draw the 75 mm axis line d l i enter give the dimension p dash o dash this height is 75 mm next join o dash a dash o dash b dash the second condition is uh, is resting on the hp on one of its triangular faces let us assume let us take one triangular face that is b o c this should be on horizontal plane now you can rotate this initial front view that one of its triangular face that is o dash b dash of c dash the triangular face is on hp for this this case you you need to draw second top view you know that already this procedure is explained in the previous uh, projection of solids to solutions Please don't worry if you have any doubt. You can you can watch that video. In the uh, the next condition is the top view of the axis making an angle of 30 degrees with vertical plane. In the second top view axis that is P1 O1. This makes 30 degrees with vertical plane. Now select uh, second top view and rotate with respect to this axis line. The angle is 30 degrees. For this case. you can uh, you can draw the final front view that means from each and every corner point draw the vertical projectors similarly 
draw the horizontal projectors from second front view and uh, identify the intersection point and give the notations and join uh, outermost boundary points then uh, which edge is near to xy that is uh, you can represent with dash line that is here d1 o1 is near to xy and away to observer so this is the invisible edge d1 dash o1 dash the, the, it is a procedure similar to like previous uh, projection of solids already we learned uh, in the previous experiment uh, coming to section of solids here the given condition is it is cut by a horizontal section plane that is vertical trace of which intersect the axis at a point 6 mm from the base here the base is uh, you know that the base is ABCD it is cut by uh, its axis 6 mm 6 mm from the base so take R command A enter C enter this is my uh, center point height is 6 mm 6 enter draw the arc now give the dimension DLI DLI enter P dash and uh, this uh, 6 mm height you can give dimension to this side also locate the same mark on second front view a enter C enter P dash is enter draw the arc that is 6 mm 6 mm ok from this point from this point take one horizontal sectional plane that is VT by using line command or you can take uh, another color uh, line enter L enter from this point draw the horizontal section plane now turn on ortho mode uh, now you can click here and also you know that uh, how to represent section plane that is uh, inside the component is uh, thin line and outside the component is thick line that is dash dot line now you can click here and also click uh, here next uh, other side is this one just you can move your cursor next also draw other side now you know that the outside two lines are should be thick lines so you can go to the properties toolbar and line weight that is 0 0.30 mm and you know one more uh, one more condition select these three lines uh, you can represent with a dash dot line go to the properties toolbar line type dash long dash dot this is the rip uh, this sim this this means indication of section plane this end is V now choose bl uh, from properties toolbar choose from color to by block text and T enter this is capital V and other end is capital T this is the vertical sectional pl section plane uh, dear students first you know that uh, this section plane cuts this horizontal section plane cut the this final front view at four four points that is a1 uh, c1 dash d1 dash edge at uh, p1 dash point you can take cutting points from left to right or left right to left that is you that is your wish here I'm taking left to right so this is p1 dash this cutting point name is p1 dash Similarly, the next uh, edge P2 dash cuts at A1 dash B1 dash edge. Copy CO enter. This is the P P2 dash. Next uh, O1 dash A1 dash at P3 dash. Turn off ortho mode. This is the P3 dash and uh, back side edge hidden edge is P4 dash. First, you need to give the only for continuous edges, not for hidden hidden lines or hidden edges. So here the D1 dash, O1 dash, the hidden edge. So you can give the last priority. P1 dash, this is P2 dash. P2 dash. Second cutting point. This is the third cutting point. P3 dash. 
this is p4 dash p4 dash okay this sec this horizontal section plane cuts this model at four cutting points p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash uh, he is asking that draw the front view so after after sectioning this model just you can remove the top portion only this bottom portion is visible so you can represent with uh, thick lines so here i am using break command br enter select this line break at uh, p1 p1 dash point first point and second break point yes similarly i can click break select this second edge first f enter first break point and second break point similarly repeat the same command br enter select this edge f enter first break point second break point similarly i can click break select this edge f enter first break point second break point now select this uh this portion and uh, uh join o1 dash c1 dash yes select this one and apply the line weight go to the properties toolbar line weight is 0 0.30 this should be uh, after removing this portion this portion is visible p1 dash c1 dash b1 dash o1 dash p3 dash p4 dash p2 dash that is below uh, below uh, horizontal section plane is appear uh, next one uh, he is asking one more point that is sectional top view so from each and every cutting point draw the vertical projectors here i am taking one more color that is yellow uh, you can use ray command r a y enter draw the vertical projectors from p1 dash point now turn on ortho mode from p1 dash next from p2 dash next from p3 dash on r a y enter from p3 p3 dash and from p4 dash okay this four vertical projector cuts this uh, final top view to four points that is p1 p2 p3 p4 let us see this p1 dash cuts uh, c1 d1 that means uh, here so you can locate the four cutting points by using donut command d o enter specify inside diameter is 0 enter outside diameter is 1 click enter this is my p1 point next this p2 dash uh, cuts at uh, b1 a1 at p2 point similarly p3 dash cutting point cuts at uh, o1 o1 a1 that means this is the third cutting point similarly uh, p4 dash cuts at uh, d1 o1 at uh, p4 uh, p4 point now give the notations this is p1 okay by using uh, uh, change the property from yellow to by block t enter this is p1 one subscript now you can also add the text you can move to this is the p1 copy p1 this is p2 next uh, this is p3 this is p4 now remove the unwanted lines by the trim command tr double enter 1 2 3 4 this you can also remove this one okay now join those points by using uh, polyline command uh, tr double enter you can also remove this one pl enter 
uh, before going to join those points you can edit edit the text this is p2 this is p2 okay this is the p3 cutting point p3 this is p4 p4 cutting point now join those points by using polyline command pl enter first one is p1 next uh, p2 p3 p4 and uh, p1 okay this is uh, this indicates the sectional top view uh, after removing the uh, top portion whatever the portion is uh, available in the top view you can uh, highlight those portion with uh, line weight okay you can break this uh, c1 d1 br enter select this line f enter break it this point first point and this second point similarly you can also break this line a1 b1 br enter select this edge f enter first break point and second break point now uh, select these lines p1 c1 c1 b1 next b1 p2 uh, next similarly p1 p4 yes this portion is uh, appear in the sectional top view now apply the line weight 0 0.30 Okay, after this one, you need to apply the hatch for sectional top view. H enter. Choose the pattern. Go to the ANSI, ANSI 31. Okay. Add select objects. Now select this one. Click enter. Okay. Uh, dear students uh, uh, you can see here uh, these horizontal section planes cut this portion and after removing this portion whatever the bottom portion is there uh, that shape is appear in the sectional top view so this p4 o1 p3 portion is also visible in the sectional top view so you can use break command br enter select this d1 o1 edge f enter first break point and second break point similarly you can break uh, uh, another edge br enter select this o1 a1 edge f enter choose first break point and second break point now select these lines p3 o1 and similarly p4 o1 and also uh, back side two hidden edges that is c1 o1 and uh, uh, b1 o1 now apply the line weight 0 0.30 this is the final solution for the given problem uh, you can also change the uh, sectional sectional cutting uh, sectional cutting plane you can select this one apply the change the color that is red to by block this is the final solution for the given problem i hope this solution is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and and subscribe my channel for more updates